The first thing you want to do when you start to either load or unload your 3D printer is obviously turn it on. You can do so just by clicking on the power button right here. Once you do that, you'll see the main screen light up. And we're going to be talking about unloading the filament from the 3D printer first. So you can see here a bunch of numbers are calculating on the setting display. So it says keep it con ready, but we know that we want to unload it. So I'm just going to open up both of these compartments. And this is the filament tube and the white filament is inside, but I want to program it so it's ready to unload and then reload. So when unloading, the first thing you're going to do is press OK. You're going to go down to prepare, press OK. And then you're going to scroll down to where it says unload filament and then press OK. Once you do that, you'll see that the temperature should start to climb to 240 degrees. However, if it just stays there and doesn't move, just make sure you click on the OK button and then where it says a star and then it says 36 out of zero or whatever that number is, just make sure you up that temperature to 240 degrees. Now, the printer is going to heat up to that temperature. I'm going to press OK. And it's now going to heat up before we start the unloading process. And now you can see those numbers climbing relatively. So good. my printer display screen has now said that I am able to start the unload process. You can just see right here a little message popped up because you can see the temperature has now climbed very close to that 240 degree mark. Now we're at that mark. So just scroll down to where it says unload start and then you're going to click OK. When you do that, the extruder nozzle is going to position itself in a location where you can easily start that unloading process. So just wait for it to center itself so you can take it out. So once it centers itself and positions itself, it's just going to give you a message saying unloading and now it says pull out filament. So I can see right here that there's a little lever. I'm going to just push down on the lever and then I can actually pull out the tube. And you can see that there's just still a little bit of filament in here. So I'm just going to pull down on that lever and pull it out. There we go. So I pulled out that filament. So and you might still have some filament in the tube itself. If that is the case, just come to the back of the printer. And at the very back of the printer, you'll see a little entry feeding tube where you can manually pull out that filament that was there. Sometimes your filament might be a little bit um, brittle and it will break easily. If that's the case, just try and pull that out with the pair of tweezers that is in your kit, or you can actually take a little roll, a little piece of your filament here, and then as you feed it in, as you feed it in, it will just push up any remaining filament. So you can see here, I'm just pushing some through so that it just gets it out from the top here. And then I can safely pull out that broken piece and then take this out. So that I'm now ready to load 
whatever new filament I'm going to use. My tube is now empty and there's nothing in the extruder nozzle. When you're done unloading and making sure that there is no brittle filament in that tube and you're certain that you're done, just click the OK button when you're finished and now you are ready to do the reverse operation and load the filament instead. So let's go ahead and load the filament. When I click on the OK button and I go down to prepare, I'm going to click OK and then I'm going to click on load filament. I can see that the temperature, because I just unloaded it, is at 240 degrees, so it's automatically prompting me to start the loading process. So I'm just going to scroll down and I'm going to select OK. So it is saying loading, touch OK button to stop load. So at this point, what you want to do is take your filament from your filament spool and feed it in to the receiver tube on the back of the printer. So you're going to feed it in and you can slowly see it coming up just like this into the actual tube. So you want to make sure that you have about six or seven inches worth of filament sticking out of the end of the tube before you start putting it into the extruder nozzle. So as you can see here, the tube is just resting right here. I'm going to hold my filament right by the base. I'm going to put my finger on this lever and I'm going to then feed it into the tube. So now we are ready to take that filament and as you can see here, I have the raw filament that is coming out of the tube, about six inches. I'm going to hold down the lever. I'm going to just press it down. And then I'm going to insert the filament while my hand, my finger is pressing it down, pressing that lever down. So as you do that, you're going to feed it through. And you're going to want to keep on holding on the, onto the actual filament while you do it. And you're soon going to feel the filament coming out of the extruder nozzle. So I'm just going to leave, I'm going to take my finger out and take that off so you can see. If I show you the inside of the printer, you can see that some of that filament has come out and it's still coming out because I haven't stopped the loading process. So when I'm ready to stop the loading process, you can see it's still coming out there because I've entered it correctly. It's going to just keep doing that until I actually press this button that says touch OK button to load stop. So you can see it's still coming out. It's collecting. That's OK. I'm actually going to press the OK button. And now what I'll do is I'll come back and I'll just make sure that the tube is just nice and snug in that space so that it's feeding the filament correctly. There was no need to press on this again. I just snugly pushed this tube in so that the filament is protected. And as you can see, the filament has stopped coming out of the extruder nozzle and we have successfully loaded our 3D printer with the correct filament and my printer is now ready.